Hi, my name is Whitney Forbes. I'm a mathematics tutor at the CFAA. Today I'm going to be going over how to add and subtract negative numbers. The easiest way for me to think about this is using terms as in money and loans. Okay, you buy a car that costs $8,000 and you have $1,000 for a down payment. The $1,000 is yours, so it is positive. So we have a positive $1,000. And then, since you owe the $8,000, it's going to be negative. So we have a negative $8,000. And what we want to find is the total of how much you owe after the down payment. So we're going to sum the totals. So if you have positive $1,000 and negative $8,000, you're still going to owe negative $7,000. So what you're essentially going to need is you will need a loan for $8,000. Okay, so our next problem is going to be whenever you have a payment. So now that you have a loan, you have to make a monthly payment. If your monthly payment is $200, how much do you still owe after one month? So we have our $7,000 loan. So since you owe the bank $7,000, it's negative, and we're going to add the $200 payment. So you are still going to owe the bank $6,800, so that is negative. Okay. The next one we are going to do is say you s still have your car payment, so you still have $6,800 from the bank, and you want to buy a house. Well, let's say that you get a loan for the house and it is $120,000. So now that you have both loans, how far are you in debt? So you're going to take the negative $6,800 and you're going to subtract $120,000 more. So in total, you are negative $126,800 in debt. And the way we did this is by you have the negative $6,800 and you're going to subtract the $120,000. The rule we use for this is keep, change, change. So we're going to keep the first sign, change the second sign, we're going to change the sign on the $120,000. So you still have a negative $6,800. Now your negative sign is going to change to a positive, and the imaginary positive in front of the $120,000 is going to change to a negative. So essentially you have negative $6,800 plus another negative $120,000. So that's how you get the negative $126,800. So let's do a couple more. You spend $3, so it's negative, and then somebody gives you $2. So you're still negative $1. Then let's say you have $3, and you spend four dollars. So then again, you're back to negative one dollars. Um, next, let's say you spend four dollars and you spend eight more dollars. So we're going to keep change, change. So we're going to keep the first sign, change the second one, and make that a negative. So you're down twelve dollars. Okay? So say we have five dollars and we loan somebody three dollars but then they gave it back so we're going to keep this first sign change the subtraction sign to a positive and the negative on the three to a positive so we have eight dollars and remember we had five dollars and he gave us our three dollars back so we have eight okay next let's say we loan someone four dollars and yesterday we loaned somebody $3, but today they're going to give it back. 
So again, we're going to keep the negative on the 4. We're going to change the subtraction to a plus sign. We're going to change the negative on a 3 to a plus. So we still have negative $1. One more way we can think about this is whenever you have a credit card. Say you go to a store and you buy a shirt and it costs $20. So technically this is a loss, so it is going to be negative $20. Then you buy a pair of pants and they are $30. So again, that is a loss, so it's going to be negative. To find the total of your bill, you will get the sum of these, and your bill will be for negative $50. So say you forget how much your bill was, and you make a payment for $55, so you'll have negative $50 plus the $55 payment. And since you overpaid, you'll get a $5 credit. So the next time you go into the store, you see a really pretty coat you like. And say the coat cost, I don't know, say it's on sale for $25. And still again, since you're paying, it's going to be a negative. But since you have this $5 credit, it's technically on your bill going to show up as you're going to have the negative $25 plus the $5 credit. So it's going to be as if it only costs $20. So remember whenever you are adding and subtracting negative numbers to think of it in terms of money. If you spend money or give it to someone, it is negative. If you make money, it is positive.